Thank you, Russell Bouguet, for the wonderful speech you gave. And now we will have the salad, the valedictorian speak. Ines McLean. <laughs> French Bassist Jim, Russian Dasha Che, Hungarian Dasha Nali, Portland Organ, Thet Nasha. Good morning, everybody. My name is Inez McLean, and I consider myself very fortunate for having shared my high school years with the people of the Pinyon community. We are where a person can become themselves away from the noise and distractions of modern society. Here our life is defined by nature and family traditions, and I appreciate nature and family traditions. Being here, I saw that tradition is more than customs. It is a culture. Tradition is survival. Without tradition, without language, the Navajo culture is threatened. I'm lucky to have gone to a school that recognized the importance of tradition. Here, tradition is not just a word, it's a way of life, a way of living, and a way of seeing the world. I believe it is true that our life is ours to create, and I believe we will create the lives we want for ourselves. We have the power and the strength to fulfill our dreams for the future. Our generation has opportunities and challenges that other generations have not shared, but the class of 2017 is responsible for their own future. Going forward, we may ask for help and we will surely receive it, but we cannot expect it to be easy. We can have what we want, but only after we make a commitment to ourselves to grow and keep learning every day. We are the ones responsible for our future, and we will rise to this challenge. None of this is to say that we would have been fine without the teachers and staff that helped us reach this day. Our families entrust the school to prepare us for our next steps, and we trust the school to guide us. We are responsible for ourselves, but perhaps only to the degree that we are taught to be independent, and we value our independence greatly. As independent as we feel, we do have Ms. Benali and Ms. McCauley to thank for our senior year. Without their dedication and patience with us, nothing would have happened this year. It felt like a lot of things didn't come easy this school year, but that did not stop us from trying. The senior class, with the help of Ms. Benelli and Ms. McCauley, of course, were able to make this the best year that we could. They put up with us, they put up with us during our meetings, making sure we made, got everything we needed done. And I was at the meetings, and I know how much our class really appreciates you, so thank you. A graduating class is like a family. A family means a lot to the Pinyon High School class of 2017. And what's even more like a family is the family that raises us, the family that makes us strong, and the people that we want to share our future with. Some of us will stay here, some of us will leave, but we will all share one thing in common. We carry our family with us, and that's what gives us strength that you will know. When I joined the class of 2017, I had absolutely no idea what to expect. Though I was an outsider, I didn't bring the outside with me. I came with open eyes and an open mind, and I immediately started to enjoy my time here. The first people that reached out to me, Mrs. McLaughlin and Magdalena McLaughlin, who instantly became my mom and sister, respectively. That helped me tremendously, too. Um, coming from the city, I would have never guessed how much I would enjoy FFA, and I found a new school family in FFA. With that in mind, I'd like to thank a couple other people from my class of 2017. <clears throat> Chanel Ben. All four years of going to Pinion High School, Chanel, never once did I see her frown always smiling in class, in the halls, and especially at our softball games. She always had a positive outlook, and thank you for that. It brightened everyone's four years of high school. <laughs> Isabella Chi, without whom most events in our four years of high school shouldn't have ha wouldn't have happened. No matter how many other things that Izzy was doing, she was always helping others. Thank you, Izzy. Without you, a lot of things wouldn't have been possible, and being for one of my first friends when I got here. Tristan LaFrance. Tristan was dedicated to his class. When other seniors go home, Tristan will stay. Even when some plans fell through, Tristan continued helping and getting work done no matter what. Thank you, Tristan, for doing what we could not. <laughs> Jamina Mike. When it comes to balancing responsibilities of home and school, I was personally inspired by Jamina. No matter what challenge she faced, it seemed like she always found a way to get the job done. This community is stronger because of hers in ways we cannot foresee. Thank you, Jamina. Tylee Tom, everybody who is graduating here today found a way to maintain the commitment to their education. This is never simple. 
Life can present many hardships that it can feel tempting to just give up. I've seen many examples of this and I've experienced this myself. But everyone here today understood that the path to graduation is taken one step at a time and one day at a time. And when times seem dark, even when you, you can still find a light to guide you forward. With this in mind, I would like to personally thank Tylee Tom for giving me an example of how to move forward and I will take that with, with me for the rest of my life. I'm sure I'm forgetting someone because we share so many individually inspiring stories. That's what makes our class so special. And each of, everybody graduating today has completely earned this important recognition and we deserve the honor for our commitment and follow through. I have learned many things from my class, the last of the 90s babies. We didn't always get along. We had a lot of drama considering our group chats. But in the end, it was the struggles we shared that defined us. The working together, the finding the way forward, that is who we are. And that is who we will be as our time in this school ends and the rest of our life begins. Thank you, Pinon, for sharing your school with me. I was able to do my best because I enjoyed it here. This is a special place. Thank you.